Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, we've all been following the saga of Meghan Markle, haven't we? From Hollywood actress to Duchess of Sussex to, well, whatever she is now. Netflix producer, professional thorn in the royal family side. But just when we thought we'd heard it all, Trevor Angelson, Meghan's ex-husband, decides to enter the chat. And boy, does he have some stories to tell. Let's rewind a bit. Before Meghan was sharing scones with the Queen, she was married to this Angelson chap from 2011 to 2013. Now, usually, ex-husbands fade into obscurity faster than Prince Andrew at a Pizza Express, but not our Trevor. Oh no, he's teamed up with journalist Neil Seen to write a tell-all book that promises to be more explosive than one of Prince Philip's infamous gaffes. Now, I know what you are thinking. Ben, isn't this just another cash grab? A bit of sour grapes from a man who watched his ex become royalty? And you might be right. But here's the thing. This book could be the key to unlocking the mystery that is Meghan Markle. Think about it. We've all seen Meghan's carefully curated public image. The humanitarian, the actress, the loving wife and mother, the woman who sacrificed it all for love. But what if there's more to the story? What if Trevor and Neil have the missing pieces of the puzzle that could shatter this perfectly polished facade? The timing of this book is about as subtle as a corgi in a china shop. It's set to coincide with Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary. Now that's either a stroke of marketing genius or a declaration of war. Either way, it's going to make for some very interesting viewing parties. Imagine watching the Netflix doc with Trevor's book in one hand and a glass of gin in the other. That's what I call a royal flush. But here's where it gets really interesting. Trevor and Neil are claiming this isn't about revenge. Oh no, they're just two noble truth seekers trying to set the record straight. They're not here to tear Meghan down, they say. They just want to present a balanced and objective perspective. Right, and I'm next in line for the throne. Let's be real here. When your ex-husband teams up with a journalist to write a book about you, it's rarely to sing your praises. This isn't going to be Meghan Markle, Saint of Sussex. It's more likely to be Meghan Unmasked, the woman behind the tiara. And you know what? Part of me is here for it. We've all been fed this fairy tale narrative about Meghan, the plucky actress who captured a prince's heart and shook up the monarchy. But life is rarely that simple, is it? People are complex, relationships are messy, and the truth often lies somewhere in the murky mill. Now, I'm not saying we should believe everything Trevor and Neil write. After all, memory is a tricky thing, and hurt feelings can distort even the most well-intentioned recollections. But I do think it's worth considering what they have to say. After all, Trevor was married to Meghan for two years. That's a lot of time to get to know someone, to see behind the public persona. Of course, Meghan's supporters are already sharpening their pitchforks. They're crying foul, saying this is a cheap shot, an invasion of privacy, and they might have a point. But here's the thing. When you become a public figure, especially one as high profile as a royal or ex-royal, your life becomes public property. Fair or not, that's the deal. And let's not forget, Meghan herself hasn't exactly been shy about sharing her side of the story. Between the Oprah interview, the Netflix deal, and Harry's upcoming memoir, the Sussexes have been more open than a 24-hour convenience store. So is it really fair to cry foul when someone else wants to share their perspective? But here's where it gets really juicy. What exactly does Trevor know? What secrets could he possibly reveal that would shatter Meghan's image? Is he going to tell us she secretly hates avocado toast? That she's actually a terrible hugger? Or is there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? The possibilities are endless, and that's what makes this whole situation so deliciously intriguing. It's like a real-life game of Clue, but instead of Colonel Mustard in the library with a candlestick, it's Trevor Angelson in the publisher's office with a potentially career-ending revelation. Now, I'm not one to speculate wildly. Who am I kidding? Of course I am. But what if Trevor reveals that Meghan's humanitarian efforts weren't as altruistic as we've been led to believe? What if he exposes some less-than-flattering behavior from her pre-royal days? Or what if? And this is a big what if. 
He suggests that Meghan's relationship with Prince Harry wasn't quite the fairy tale romance we've all been sold. The mind boggles at the possibilities, and that's exactly why this book has the potential to be such a game changer. It could either confirm everything we think we know about Meghan, or it could turn the entire narrative on its head. But here's the thing we need to remember. This book, like any other, is just one person's perspective, or in this case, two people's perspectives. It's not the gospel truth, and it's certainly not going to be an unbiased account. Trevor and Neil have their own agendas, their own axes to grind, and their own stories to tell. So as we eagerly await this literary bombshell, we need to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism. Yes, it might reveal some uncomfortable truths about Meghan, but it might also say more about Trevor and Neil than it does about the Duchess of Sussex. And let's not forget the human cost of all this. Megan is a real person with real feelings. Imagine having your ex-husband team up with a journalist to write a book about you. It's the stuff of nightmares, isn't it? No wonder she's reportedly paralyzed with fear. I'd be reaching for the smelling salts too if I were in her Jimmy Choo's. But here's where it gets really interesting. This book, regardless of its content, is a testament to Megan's continued relevance. Love her or loathe her, you can't deny that she's still captivating the public imagination. How many other ex-royals' exes could command this kind of attention? Trevor Angelson was a relative unknown before this, and now he's potentially sitting on a gold mine. All because he was once married to Meghan Markle. It's a perfect example of the Meghan effect. Everything she touches turns to headlines. She's like King Midas, but instead of gold, everything turns to tabloid fodder. And in today's world, that's arguably more valuable. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Well, for one, it's a reminder that there are always multiple sides to every story. We've heard Meghan's version, we've heard the royal family's version, or at least, what they've allowed to leak. And now we're going to hear Trevor's version. The truth, as always, probably lies somewhere in the middle. It's also a stark reminder of the price of fame. Meghan may have gained a prince, a platform, and a Netflix deal, but she's lost her privacy. Every aspect of her life, past and present, is now fair game for public consumption. It's the deal with the devil that every public figure makes, but I doubt Meghan realized just how high the cost would be. And finally, it's a testament to our continued fascination with the royals, and with Meghan in particular. We just can't seem to get enough of this soap opera. It's like the crown, but with more avocado toast and less historical accuracy. So, as we wait with bated breath for Trevor and Neil's magnum opus, let's all take a moment to reflect. Are we excited for this book because we genuinely want to understand Meghan better? Or are we just hungry for more drama, more scandal, more fuel for our group chats and Twitter debates? Whatever your reasons, one thing's for sure, this book is going to be more divisive than Marmite. Some will hail it as the truth finally coming to light. Others will dismiss it as a bitter ex's revenge fantasy. But you know what? We'll all read it anyway. Because at the end of the day, that's what Meghan Markle has become. A Rorschach test for our society. We all see what we want to see in her story. And this book, it's just another inkblot for us to interpret. So what do you think about this new guys? Please share your thoughts in the comment and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.